our theme this year here is um, secure connections for a smarter world. So, and where are we actually? We are right in the automotive part of this. And automotive is one of the big, big, let's say new things on CES this year. New means more automotive for a smarter world. Yeah, our, our idea for the, for the car of the future is that it will be connected. It will be connected to us as people. It will be connected to other cars. So literally cars can talk to each other. They can warn each other of any hazards, but they can also talk to infrastructure. So like if you want to have a green wave, then your car would talk to the, uh, to the traffic light and would make sure that you get the green wave which you need. Or vice versa, the traffic light talks to your car to make sure you drive exactly at the right speeds to make sure you hit the green wave. I would actually say that this te technology is another complement to self-driving cars. And well, actually standing here in Las Vegas in Nevada uh, makes me feel good about that because uh, you, you know that the Google car here in Nevada is actually, is what, that was one of the first places where self-driving cars are actually allowed, are allowed to be, to be driven on public roads. And uh, yeah, NXP is one of the companies enabling, uh, enabling that progress. I want every car to have that technology, and actually even more. No, but more seriously, uh, people have calculated that about 50 to 20% penetration in cars makes sure it's, it's, it's good enough. Of course, any car more will be even better, but 15 to 20% is, a, is already a, a starting point to, to make a secure connection across many, many cars. Now, as a driver, you can only brake when you see something, but your car will actually listen to other cars talking to your car without having a line of sight. And that gives an advantage in terms of safety, which is unrivaled. Uh, secondly, we are driving NFC, near-field near uh, communication into cars. And there is one which is a bit more hidden, but I think it's very relevant, which is security. Uh, with all the connected cars, there is also a risk. You start to open up the car to the external world. So there is this, uh, this hacking scenario that some, somewhere somebody has, a, uh, say, a Wi-Fi transmitter and is actually starting to control your car. Now, that is something which clearly needs to be prevented to make sure this technology makes the inroads we want it to make. And what we do about it is actually we add our crypto technology, which is proven in, uh, in payment, um, in, uh, in uh, all the payment cards and other uh, security applications. We put this into the car, which really makes sure that this technology can find its way on the road without being a security risk. There is too much congestion. We, we all spend far too much time in traffic jams. Traffic jams means we lose time, we lose productivity, but it also means there's a lot of uh, CO2 being blown out into the air because typically people spend time with the engine running in traffic jams. And connected cars would also prevent that because you can start to steer the traffic much better. And that's actually what, what I'm looking for because when I'm in my car, as I said earlier, I'm passionate about driving. I want to drive, I don't want to stand still.